Welcome to the System Dynamics Online Tutorials. In this session we're going to cover the inventory availability for production uh, under the manufacturing suite of applications within Dynamic 3i. Within manufacturing and within the uh, structures and routings and under inquiries we have the inventory availability for production. What this application allows me to do is analyze my system uh, based on a given date for a given warehouse um, and also include or exclude uh, certain orders coming in. The um, availability of product um, so that I can see uh, possibly any material shortage that I would uh, I would do based on the demand quantity that I want to put against the system for the top product. When I first enter in the application, um, it's asking me for the as of date that I wish to run it for, and it will default to the system date. So as of today, I want the system to look at my inventories uh, and availabilities. Uh, the system will then ask me for the warehouse that I wish to uh, do this in. And I can use the uh, list of values to, to choose the warehouse uh, that I wish to make the query into. And then the, uh, the system will ask me whether I want to ha have in the available calculation uh, committed only or uh, include, fir include firm planned. What the committed only means uh, is I want the system to go out and only look at valid um, quantity on hand of stock that I know I have in my stock file. If I don't have it, I don't want the system to uh, to go anywhere else to, th to see whether it's actually coming into stock at some future point in time. I just want the system to look at what I got on hand right now. If I say include firm planned, what the system will do is it will look at my current quantity on hand and it will also analyze and take into account any specific orders um, as of this date uh, and beyond that are actually coming in to, to try and meet that demand. So if there's, there's orders out there that are going to come in on that day then it will actually include those as being valid quantities that it can include uh, in order to display to me any shortages or availability. Uh, if I want to just analyze my current inventory levels, I'd leave it at committed only, which is the system default. I then have the uh, ability to enter uh, up to five different products. Uh, this particular portion up here is for entry of uh, products that I'm actually going to put demand against. And this bottom uh, block here, if you will, is any shortages that would uh, be as a result of this demand uh, being placed on the system. So if I enter uh, in this particular thing, uh, a particular product. Uh, I'll choose this one and I want to have say uh, a thousand cases of that. Uh, the system will put me down to the next one if I if I wanted to enter more products. Uh, once again I can enter up to five only here before I actually execute the query and have the system go out and do the available for production inquiry. Uh, I can choose another one here, uh, the 950 and actually ask for uh, say 200 cases of that. Uh, simply by executing the uh, query the system will actually show me the available uh, of this particular item here. There's 4,210 so I don't have to do anything um, because obviously with that much available I can produce the the thousand as of this date. Uh, the system is also showing me here um, that I have a quantity requirement for this particular product of 200. I have none available and it's saying you should or are able to, uh, you should build 200. Uh, by virtue of having nothing returned to me here, if I was to go out into the production control environment right now and my availability of, of stock, I should be uh, able to, with no trouble, produce actually the uh, quantity of 200 given uh, this situation. I have no shortages whatsoever. If I actually enter a different query here, uh, just to show you some comparison, and I I choose the, the same product again, and now I'm going to put down, I want 20,000 cases of this particular item, and I still want, um, whoops, sorry. I want 20,000 cases of this particular item, and I want still say maybe 200 or, or actually we'll go to 500 cases of this. And I now execute this query here. 
what the system will now do is I have available the 4,210, which, which we knew for the 20,000, and it's telling me that I should build fit or create 15,790 cases here. I still get the um, quantity of 500 here, and I'm, I should build 500. And now what the system does is based on this quantity summed together, it analyzes uh, the requirement for uh, all the subcomponents of these two structures. And based on that, will show me any uh, available quantities and then the shortage quantities of those components. So we can see here, based on the um, production of these amounts here, I am actually uh, short uh, of bottles, caps, and labels. So uh, it shows me the required amount in order to, to create these quantities. And it shows me the available on hand within the stock uh, for only committed only. It's not looking at uh, any future things coming in. And then it's displaying me the, the shortage, uh, thus giving me the inventory availability for production that I can, uh, I can query on here. This application is used um, primarily in, uh, in quick inquiries onto, uh, uh, as of right now, I need so much stuff uh, without actually entering a job and doing a, a requirements explosion against the system. It's a quick uh, application to show me uh, if you want X amount of the particular product, then uh, here's what you have available, here's what you should build, and here's any shortages that you may have. And that concludes the inventory availability for production.